What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care on a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday morning. Getting ready to get out there and mow, which is what I do. I own a lawn maintenance company. I'm always mowing. It is what it is. <sighs> So as you guys and gals already know, I run Gravely Pro Stances on my fleet of mowing and I also have the old Skag V-Ride back here as well. But one of the things I think I'm wanting to do this year is I want to trade out the Gen 2 for the Gen 3. After demoing it at the Gravely Ambassador event and other events, I really, really, really love the Gen 3 with the lower center of gravity, more hill stability the way they redesign the platform there's just a lot of awesome features on the gen 3 so i think i might just trade this out this has about 400 hours on it for the condition this thing is in obviously going to stick with the 52 but yeah i just really like the different features i like the different platform in the back as well and the wider pad i feel like there's more area to stand than there is on these ones which isn't a make or break deal but I also kind of want something new and shiny, but the new features on the Gen 3 are super, super awesome, and I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and trade this out for the new Gen 3. It's also coming close to time to doing some trading out on the old stick equipment, too, because this is my second year's running these 94Rs. They both still work good. There's a little bit of slippage, obviously, from running no guards all the time, but uh, yeah, every couple of years, usually I just switch those out for a couple new ones. The stick equipment to me, I mean, you can get them repaired and whatnot, but they're not like super expensive. And it's a good write off for the business buying those things and always putting back into your company, you know? So there's a good chance I might have to trade some of that out too as well. I don't know if you're ready just to mow. Boom, boom. I don't know if you're ready just to mow. Boom, boom. I don't know if you're ready just to mow. If you're ready just to mow. <laughs> That's right, guys. Sometimes I just randomly beatbox stuff for no reason, too. You know, jack of all trades, master of none. And the other thing I want to know is where is the little lapse between spring and summer? We didn't get one here in Missouri. It's like, you know, 60s to boom, 100 degrees. There's no climb through into the 80s. It's like decent, nice, calm, cool, collective weather to you can't breathe no more. Humidity is 100% and it's so hot you're lucky to get two properties done before you die so at least i got that going for me today and also quick while i'm dangerously driving around this neighborhood while filming myself and not wearing a seat belt so don't arrest me you can if you want to but you don't have to a lot of people have been asking about the music and where they can get a hold of it at uh the song i'm doing on g4 outdoors the rod and reel it's a good song i like it a lot uh, yeah, you just gotta wait for those music videos to come out. They will come out when we have the time to do them And I may put those on a couple platforms for download. So look for those as well Back at the 
grass pad. Got my grandma super clean like a Cadillac. When I'm mowing all this grass, I never bag that. See, you gotta work smart, you gotta work hard. People try to diss me, I work harder. Build my business for my son with no daughter. How when I'm mowing, I always drink water. A lot of people out here mowing, quit stalling. I done striped every lawn that we be on. Everybody loving me in the lawn season. Do the YouTube game, cause it's mad fun. If you keep talking trash, then you better run. Got the fur killing weed mix. Makes neighbors speech list. The best lawn care dude, you got the key to the city with the dopest rhymes, and you'll never see him. I just bought a mower off the lot. I got a good price on the cost. I gotta put it back in my garage. I just let my toe on a box, and you know it hurt like a lot. I'ma mow up the whole damn field. I'ma do it with a gravely. You want back to the future when I flow? Y'all be rapping like you AD. I send invoices controlled. Use the cash app if they do not pay in full. You can slap slap. I would never sell my soul. That's a fact, Jack. If y'all really wanna mow, use your grass flap. What's that? Now I know you guys were watching me mow that backyard and you were probably like, damn. I didn't know Cut and Clean could drop it lower than my wife, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my mom. Cut and Clean drop it low. Gotta get that mowing, man. I hate trimming under those, man. I'm gonna squat it down on the Gravely Pro stance. Get low under them branches and cut it. So don't go getting mad at me and fantasizing all night about how I can drop it low. But yeah, back to what I was talking about earlier in my garage, man. I've been running that Gen 2 platform of the Pro Stances for like three years now. That first and second year, that fifth and fourth year, whatever, how you want to consider that. I used uh, that 48, then I went into the 52 for the last three years, something like that. I can't even remember anymore. But I like a lot of the new features on the Gen 3. I've had issues with the Gen 2 on my height adjustment wheel. I love the technology and the idea behind that height adjustment wheel. Never having to move platform up, use the dial, change your mower height. But as you're constantly using it, like I constantly use it between four and three and a half, always. So when I wanna also drop the deck low, like say to three, it's really hard to turn that wheel because it's so tuned to doing the same thing over and over again, which has kind of become an issue. So the pin system on the upgrade on the Gen 3 on the Pro Stance, you can also adjust all that stuff from the standing platform as well. You're able to see your gas tank now. You get a little extra top end, lower center of gravity. I'm excited, man. I, I do want to switch these out. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to try to switch these out. Not only to give you guys the content, because I got comments, people wanting to know about it and switch to it. Man, I want to use it. Let's see. Let's see what it's about. It's something I want to do. And the other reason I'm kind of here just talking to you guys is because I'm back into procrastinating because it's just hot. It's nasty. My foot obviously still hurts. So it's slowing down. That's what I was saying. Some of you guys and a lot of other people I'm working with, they're like amazed. Like, dude, how do you do 20 properties in a day solo? I only do that when the weather's nice. When it's hot like this, I'm lucky to get 10 to 12 done. The heat takes it out of you, man. I don't have a guy trimming this property while I'm mowing. I got to do it all after. So when you're running the gambit, dude, the heat takes it out of you. So performance is one thing. So when it's nice and cool, I can get a ton done. But when it's hot, I know my schedule is going to be a five or six day week because I can't do near as much. So in the spring, if I can do 20 each day, three days in a row, you know, you're killing it, whatever it is. But when it's hot like this, you can't, or I can't. I'll say that. I don't know if you can. I can't do it, man. So I get about 10 to 12 done on one of these hot, nasty days. And that's just is what it is, man. There's nothing you can do about it. So don't spread yourself thin. If it's springtime and you're just collecting all these properties, cool, now I'm a solo guy and say you have 75 clients. Good luck doing that when it's hot and nasty by yourself. It's so hard. So I always try to budget my schedule around what I feel like I can do on a week of nothing but 100 degree weather. And don't go above that, on my opinion, because during those weeks, especially, I mean, if you can skip some, droughts come, things dry out, you don't need to be there, that's one thing. But I hate guaranteeing work on clients when the weather changes and you're not able to get that work done. I don't know, it just kind of leaves me a weird feeling. <laughs> I'm moving them out, laying on these stripes with the grass flying out. Neighbors come around, ain't nobody make a sound when I'm 
throwing up your town, I'm like the king with the crown Because I am the bestest If you wanna battle, put to rest, kid Cause if you don't know what the best is You can stick around, take some lessons I've been doing all these things that you can't see My price ain't high, you can't afford me And if you don't know the name, it's cut and clean I'm the lawn care rapper on the YouTube scene So I run bravely It's new like babies Trash comments, pay me Ghosts, you like sway I got a good price on the cost I gotta put it back in the garage I just put my toe on a box And you know it hurt like a lot I'ma mow up the whole damn field I'ma do it with the gravely Throw it back to the future when I flow Y'all be rapping like an 80 I send invoices controlled Use a cash app If they do not pay in full They get slap slap I would never sell my soul That's a fact jack If y'all really wanna mow So as you guys can see, it is hot, humid, and nasty. I am sweating to death, which means I am in no mood to be recording still. So I'm calling the video here. I still got five more to do on today so I can get home, hang out with my son, and jump in the swimming pool and hang out in the swimming pool for the rest of the evening. Sounds like a good idea to me. But thanks for hanging out with me in today's video. Hopefully I got you guys a little bit of footage, a little bit of conversation, just talking about stuff, man. That's about it for today. But yeah, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps me out a lot. Click the bell, get those notifications. Leave a comment down below, man. Let me know what you think. Do you run standers in your business? What mowers have you ran? What are the best mowers you've ever used? Let me know down below. Hit the like button, like I said, if you liked the video. Guys, I'm getting off here. I got stuff to do. I want to go home. It's hot. It's nasty. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Price chopper water. We'll see you guys later.